Hello everybody and welcome to Sexy Astrology for July 2016. I am thrilled to announce that Sexy Astrology won her case, their case. Oh my god. So Sexy Astrology is officially trademarked and uh, celebrate with me. Um, I'm still reeling from the success. I, I cannot even believe it. So not only the cool thing is, is not only did Sexy Astrology win the mark, but as well, Sexy Astrology is one of 25 cases that has been uh, selected or um, decided that, well, I guess the wording is precedential. The case was a precedential case, which means it sets a new precedence for how the federal government treats trial, review, and uh, trademark appeal board, TTAB. I'm not saying it right, I'm sure. But in any case, thank you so much for your love and support, the few of you who've been watching. Hopefully this is a new beginning. Yes, so welcome to July 2016. I'm calling it Transformation Month. Um, it is the month of, you know, after working really hard on something and building something deep inside, it is time to come out and fly. And that is exactly what Sexy Astrology is doing. Oh my God. So anyway, yes, those things that you've been working on will come out. And here now your horoscope. Yes, so the business of transformation. Um, well, I have to say that Mars retrograde in Scorpio is now moving direct again and will soon resume its course through Sagittarius by the end of the month. But all during this month, the business of Scorpio in, in having been in retrograde several times this last year in Scorpio, going back and forth between Sag and Scorpio, has many people raked back and forth over the same issue. So now is the time to truly take heed and follow some of the good orderly direction or whatever you call God or spirit and go forward the way that you know that truly works. And I'm just going to say this. <clears throat> if you let yourself get very quiet and go way deep inside, the answer for the dilemma, whatever dilemma it is, is deep inside of you if you listen and you go slowly. Um, I don't know how to meditate at the moment, but I do know that that is what has happened to me, is that if I go really slowly, every issue gets answered. And that is part of the journey in transforming your life and your issue. If there's some big problem that you're really working on, now is the time to, on a daily basis, get very, very quiet inside of yourself and move from that place. Regardless of its contrary, if it's contrary to what your outsides tell you or what the outside world meets you with. And, for example, if somebody is being very aggressive towards you about something, if you go quietly inside and you take in what they say, and you go, no, is that true? And you think about it. No, that is not true. You know, or yes, oh, that is true. I've been harboring a different idea. So that is what, a little bit, to give you a clue about what transformation means this month, the month of July 2016. Because Mars in Scorpio is trying the sun in Cancer, and it's connectivity to loosely sextiling Pluto elementally in Capricorn gives this result. So here now your horoscope. From newly trademarked Sexy Astrology t-shirts and coffee cups available. <laughs> Hello dear Leo. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Leo, if you cultivate friendliness in your character, you will have friends. 
give people the benefit of the doubt. The Leos I know that are on the, the right and good know how to be friends. So if you struggle with your friends, you, you should definitely like look at that and work on it, whatever that means. Okay, I'm done giving advice. Have a great month.